Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Steel. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Today we are going to be doing the Emden Lots GT, which is car number 27 of Car Mechanic Simulator Story Orders. Now this guy has just sent me an email saying that he's going to bring the car over, so I'm going to be taking the car, put it up on the lift, and we'll go from there. Okay, so let's get this up on the lift. Let's read through the email the customer sent me, and then from there what we'll do is we'll see what is wrong. Going by it, you can already see that the rims are pretty knackered, but we don't know what the underlying is. Basically, he wants everything to be work. Yeah, we can do that. So, uh, replace them, repair the bodyworks, go through this list, make sure we do it all, and do an oil change. Fantastic. Let's get it on, shall we? So, this is the Emden Lots page of stuff that we need to replace the car with. It literally needs one of everything, so we are going to strip the car back completely all the way back to bare bones, well, to the frame at least, and then we're just going to put it all back together. Not forgetting the license plates, because I always forget license plates when I do this sort of car. So, like I said, we're going to replace everything. Let's just get all the bodywork off and let's put on the new stuff just for this guy. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the whole car back together as quickly as possible, all in one go. So we're going to take off all the rotted stuff, so we definitely need a new set of rims, new set of tyres. Definitely going to have to replace the brakes because they're pretty, they're looking a little bit ropey as well. And if this guy's going to be using this car for street racing, we're going to have to upgrade the brakes into it as well. So, by the looks of it, it's literally just a brake job at the back. I'm not sure what the front is, and we'll get around to that right now. It doesn't look like the engine's in too bad condition. I think we just need to change what can only assume by is the turbocharger and the front section of the exhaust that goes into the engine itself. Nothing else looks, I mean, from this angle, nothing else looks terribly bad. Okay, so in order to take off that section of the exhaust, you have to lower the car down, take off the turbocharger first, then you can take off the bit of exhaust. And as you can see, there's nothing else majorly else wrong with the car. So, I think we're, we're pretty much done already, which is going to be brilliant. Like, doing this is going to be a quick job. So we take the turbocharger off, take the bottom of the exhaust off, and then I think we're pretty much sort of like just going to replace everything all in one go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the tyres apart and then we need to replace all those, obviously. Actually, the tyres are in really good condition. The rims are the bit that there's no replacing. This would save us time as well. Okay, so we've built our shopping list of all the things that need to be replaced. So, if you don't know what the shopping list is, in the top right hand corner right now there is a video to tell you exactly why a shopping list is good for you in the car mechanic simulator. Now the plus side to it is it makes my game a little bit easier and faster, so it's all good. If you do need to know the reasons, go and watch that video. 
after you've watched this. Okay, so now we're going to put everything back together for the car. Then we're going to check the list, make sure we've done everything. I'm pretty sure that we have, though, and it's all good. Don't forget, guys, if you are liking any of these videos or the series that I have basically compiled for this game, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to show the support, to show the share the love, and basically to make sure you're keeping up to date with this game. Okay, so that was the last wheel going on. Now we're going to put on the manifold cover and the turbocharger. Then we're going to lift the car up and then we're going to put the exhaust on the bottom. And then... So we're going to put the oil in now. And then that's... I think that's pretty much the whole of the engine done. Then we're just going to put the bodywork on and the interior as well. Okay, so we'll do the interior first as it's easier. Alright, that's the seats in, steering wheels in. Alright, let's just get the bodywork on and then we should be done. Like I said, I can't wait until we get our painting booth in because as soon as we've got the painting booth, half of these cars are going to be looking really nice coming out of my garage. Quick tip, never ever ever forget the license plates because you won't be able to put your car out until they're on the car. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're done. Done the oil, done the body. Let's have a look at the rest of the car itself as well. All right, that's the car completed. Thank you very much for joining me. This has been Hybrid Steel. If you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I'll be back here with another video of this game in a little bit later. So thank you very much for kicking by. Peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye.